Welcome to video 13.6a, the equation of a circle. So I'll just lay out the uh, basic formulas here and then we'll apply them in some future examples. Uh, there's two main conditions for a circle. One where the center is at the origin and one where the center is not at the origin. And I'll talk about the difference of, the, of these two circles. Uh, just to let you know, I generated these circles with uh, a compass and we'll be using a compass and constructions later on in the year. All right, so first uh, to derive the equation of a circle, I've got the center at the origin, uh, I've got the radius specified here, and the Pythagorean theorem is really what derives this, these equations. So hopefully you guys are okay if I got a random point here, x, y, the distance here is x units, and the distance here is y units. That's how the uh, coordinate system works, where x units to the right and y units up. I now have the Pythagorean theorem. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, or x squared plus y squared equals r squared. All right, that's the equation of a circle when the center is at the origin. Now, if the center is not at the origin, over here, I've got it listed at h comma k. It's h units off of the axis and k units above the x-axis. Okay, it's gonna be a similar thing. All I gotta do now is adjust. So I'll show you. Uh, this point over here is still x comma y, but now my triangle, instead of being um, originated to the origin, it's at h comma k. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm h units out here. I'm x units all the way out here. So this right here would be x minus h. Over here, I'm y units up to this point. I'm k units up to this point. So this right here will be y minus k. Boom. Uh, I've got the Pythagorean theorem again. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. If you want, you could always use this one, even if you're at the origin, because if you're at the origin, X minus zero reduces to X and Y minus zero reduces to Y. Uh, it's important to note that um, this is an r squared and the radius would be that square root. Also notice that I've got minus h and minus k, whereas the center is positive h comma positive k, so we've got that um, sign difference going on. So there you have it, um, how to derive the equation of a circle with center at the origin or center at h comma k.